Okay, two quick things before this video starts. First off, we had a baby. In September, we had a baby boy. He's doing great. Everything's going great. He's really healthy. Uh, he's growing really good. Thank you guys for all the well wishes on Instagram and everything too. That's meant a lot. Um, it's been really good to just take the past like month and a half off to just spend time with him and Laura. Um, and everything's going great. And then the second thing is I have squishy bones. Uh, merch designs available now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got Squishy Bones merch and Greg Family Barbecue merch. So good, you're gonna want to fight your elders, everybody. So square up, head on over to DannyGonzalez.store and check out these beautiful merch designs. These could sell it in the blink of an eye, so you gotta act fast. Also, there's a big store-wide sale going on right now until December 1st, and four random orders during this sale are going to receive one of the physical drawings that I did and the fake AI video. So if you want one of those, head on over to dannygonzalez.store. Thanks, and now here's the video. Public freakouts and Karen videos are of course all the rage. They're constantly going viral to the point where content creators have started to realize this is an easy way to get views on TikTok. And they've started making fake arguments in order to go viral. And today I'm gonna to be watching some. Now I haven't seen any of these TikToks yet. I wanted to go into it completely blind. So I've assembled an elite council of content, uh, which consists of one guy, his name is Robert, and he put together a list of the must see TikToks within this genre. So that's what I'm gonna watch. Uh, you can see how All much work it was and why I should be getting a tip because of how much work no, this was. No, you don't deserve yes, a tip. You do. certainly don't. Why do okay, so delivery driver refuses to give items back without a tip. I'll give him this. It does seem like a real premise for an argument. It seems like the type of thing you would see on TikTok and it's got 400,000 likes. So it seems like a lot of people are buying into this premise of this being real. And it does seem like the type of thing that would go viral too because it's like just divisive enough to get people talking about it. Like, oh, are you guaranteed a tip when you do delivery? Should you expect one? Is this too far of a reaction if you don't get a tip? So I can see why there'd be a lot of comments and there are, there's like 60,000 comments. I'm a little curious. <laughs> as to why this video is three and a half minutes long. Like, isn't she just gonna load all the stuff into the car and drive away? Not, you're crushing the ramen noodles for I'm one. I'm not crushing with anything. Yes, the ramen are. noodles are perfectly fine. They're I don't not. know what you're talking no, about. No, they're not. They're perfectly fine. I just saw fine. you crush them for They're one. not crushed. And Wait, okay, they spent 10 seconds talking about the tip and now they're <laughs> arguing about whether the ramen noodles are crushed. The caption at the top changes to delivery driver refuses to admit she crushed the ramen noodles and <laughs> The whole rest of the video is about the ramen noodles. They're not crushed, okay? She takes them out of the package, she pours them in a bowl, she mixes it with water. They sit there eating the ramen noodles together. No, I'm taking all of this back. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, You guys can get your you refund are. and no. another delivery I mean, driver can deal with you guys. I now, on one hand, it's like, okay, you should you should for sure tip her. You know, I don't know what delivery drivers get paid, but I know that the, this whole gig economy thing is not really good for workers, so yeah. Tip your delivery driver. I do think it's a funny plan to be like, no, I'm gonna take the food back to the store and you're gonna have to deal with a different delivery driver. Cause it's almost like she's now, now she knows that they don't tip and she's like, I'm gonna make someone else not get tipped by you. I, there probably is a better way to go about it. Like trying to get them banned from the app or something instead of being like, I'm, we're gonna do this twice now. You're gonna do the same thing you just did to me to somebody else. Okay, so this argument just goes on and on for three minutes and 30 seconds. I'm curious if this goes anywhere or if this is just an improv scene of them saying the same thing over and over for three and a half minutes. How crazy would it be if I skipped like three minutes into the video and it does escalate? It's like this woman like bashing the other woman's head into the car. The food is gone. Something happens in between where we just were and where we are now. Where somebody else comes into the scene and steals the food. I need a little bit of development to justify it being this long. Groceries taking, taking them back, to the, them back store, to the store. And then I'm going to get you fired. Go ahead. Because Go you stole ahead. my groceries and then I'm gonna call okay. cops. Okay. okay, yeah, so it's just the same thing over and over. I feel for these actors having to improv for this long. The, the director probably gave them a prompt of like, you didn't tip her. Action. And they just have to make shit up for three and a half minutes. Which I don't think I would be able to do, honestly. That's tough. I hope the director tipped both of these actors because if not, like the next video is, <laughs> them three arguing with the director. We're taking the video back to the, or we're gonna, we're gonna delete the video. No tipping after I broke my back is insane. I save lives all day. I've never gotten a tip. Wrong career, apparently. What? 
What does this person do for a living? I can't tell if they're actually complaining about not having gotten a tip as like a doctor or if they just don't want other people to get tips. Cause it's one of the two. You can't really argue that it's not. This person's a full on brain surgeon and wishes they could bring one of those little cashier things with the touch screen into the operating room. Someone responded, you make bank, you don't need no damn tip. And they said, why? I thought tips were mandatory according to this chick. You can't be biased now. No, we, we are being biased. They're mandatory when, when people don't make enough money to support themselves without tips. That's the bias. Okay, this person's username is Wicked Witch. Is this a real witch? Okay, is that how you save people's lives? Do you just, do you cast spells? So it looks like if you go to this account, it's just all fake arguments. Like all they do all day is shoot fake scenarios where people get upset with each other. Usually it seems like they rent out a set for a day and film several videos there. Plane, 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 plane. And they even have the same actors, you know, for every video in that set. Cause they have, you know, they have that set for the day. They have the actors for a day. Delivery driver throws tantrum over a tip. Okay, so we got the same premise. Same car, different guy. What? No, listen, if you're not gonna tip, you're not gonna get this, okay? Are you, are you I've had kidding it. me right now, man? I've had it with you kids. I've had it with your entire generation. I've had it, people getting huge, or do you see how big this batch is? Whoa, this is kind of a twist. It's kind of like an older adult. I mean, not old, he's like middle-aged, but he's getting mad at us kids for not tipping. I feel like usually this conversation is the other way around, where older people are like, you kids, I never got tips when I was your age, and I save lives every day. I toil over a hot cauldron all day, and never once does a hand reach out from the murky ether to offer me a tip. We paid for it. We paid for yeah, it. Yeah, we want it. Well, you're not tipping on it, so you're not getting it. How about that? I don't need to tip. Okay. Yo, wait, okay. Is this, I can't tell if this is just lazy that they're like reusing all the same thing, the same $400 order, same location, same ramen that he's inevitably about to crush. Or is this just, is this just the next part of the story? The first delivery driver did cancel the order. She brought the stuff back. And then this guy is bringing the new order and they're also not tipping him. Man, they could just remake this video over and over and never get their food. Okay. Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is this location also? Is this supposed to be where they live? This looks like the parking lot of like an industrial park or something. I'm sick of delivering to your generation. You guys all live in the middle of parking lots and you never tip. It makes us hard for us delivery drivers who all drive the same Tesla. This generation doesn't know Jack. Is that the actor in this? I <laughs> can't believe you guys can't tell this is fake. Damn, nobody in this generation knows Jack. He's a famous actor. All right, another sticky situation here. This one takes place on the plane. Fight attendant solve the seating bra. Passenger gets upset over bigger passenger. First off, I mean, obviously there's a typo here and they meant brawl. Or maybe it's just like, bra. Dude, fight, dude, the fight. Oh wait, it's fight attendant too. Fight attendant solve the seating bra. Well, I guess, a fight attendant would be the person to solve the brawl, wouldn't they? Seriously? Why didn't you like buy two tickets? Hmm? Why didn't you buy two seats? Can't fit in one seat. What? One thing I've noticed in all of these videos is they use the same song, like the happy-go-lucky song in all of them. I don't know if that really fits the vibe of the argument. Now I know what the video is trying to imply. She's like, oh, this guy is too big and he's like impeding on my space on the plane. Clearly not a real plane also, by the way. The phrasing makes it seem like she's just mad that he's bigger than her. Passenger gets upset over bigger passenger. I thought I was gonna be the biggest person on the plane. Fit in the case, yeah. huh? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, too look. big, too big. Are you feeling, are you feeling a little claustrophobic? It kind of looked like they were making the plane shake a little bit up here. Like they're trying to make it look like they're in the air right now. I guess they're trying to add to the realism of the piece a little bit, but they're definitely not in the air right now. Cause if they are, then where did that guy come from? Cause then I would totally understand her concern. Just being like, what the fuck? Did anyone just see him come into the plane? He came from outside. And also this guy's too fucking big. He's bigger than me. I like at one point she just like, she runs out of things to say. 30 seconds into the video, by the way, which is not a good sign. And she just starts saying big, too big. Too big, too big. Too big, huh? No. I'm asking 
asking a question. I'm sitting in my seat. No, you're sitting in my seat too because you're so big. Lose the weight now. Lose it right now. I gotta say, the quality of this one, I feel like dropped significantly from the first two. And you know what? It's only got 13 likes because of it. It's crazy to put this much work into videos that get 13 likes. I guess the first one, maybe they go viral every once in a while and so they just make a ton of videos and you know, one out of every hundred goes viral, but when it does, it like really pops off. I don't know, let's see. 88 views, 90 views, 30 views. Roll it down! Roll it down, man! Right now! Both windows, all the way! That music, man. You don't have to add music to a TikTok. It's an option. You don't have to do it every time. And the video, I swear, would, would still do just as well if you did it. It would still get the nine likes that it you know, I'm just saying the music's not helping with the engagement, you know? Sorry. What are you thinking? What are you thinking right now? Nothing. Nothing. Um. How old? How old is she? She's How old is she? She's six months. She's six months old? Yes, sir. Six months old? These videos are crazy for a number of reasons. The closest thing I can compare them to that already existed is like a Darman video. And while those are super corny, they are like kind of supposed to start a conversation convey some sort of moral, like it's wrong to bully people because you'll instantly regret it. I don't really know if these videos do have any kind of moral. It's just three minutes of people arguing. Like, are, are they gonna come to an understanding at the end or anything? I'm very confused and I'm pretty sure my partner seems pretty confused too. No, it it may, what you're saying makes no sense. No, it doesn't. It just ends with him being like, you're fucking crazy and you don't make any sense. Videos like this and content like this is the thing that I, I dislike the most about the internet, content that's just supposed to make you mad. Like people are supposed to see this and think it's real and get mad. That's the only purpose for it. And people engage with it because they're mad. I wanna see this channel start documenting other fake things aside from arguments. Can we get some like miracles maybe? I wanna see people walking again for the first time ever. I wanna see people walking on water flying, being shot through a cannon, anything aside from arguments. Entitled man throws a tantrum at the airport. No Japanese! Everything in the gray bin! I don't know if I would call that entitled, dude. That No Japanese! I think that there's something very wrong with this man. He almost knocks over the whole table. Back in line. What do Help I have to do with her? I, she, Help her out. I'm not flying with her. It. Now he's pretending like he didn't knock over her bags and he never even saw any bags there. I think that this guy, I think that there really is something wrong with this man. Entitled man throws a tantrum at the airport seems a little dismissive of whatever he's going through. They gotta change this title to like, entitled man was maybe just poisoned or something. I'm so curious about the business model of this account. They have 15,000 followers. Their videos don't get that many views, yet they're like consistently renting out locations, hiring actors to film these videos. I'm so curious where the money's coming from. Unless these are ripped from a different account, but it doesn't seem like they are. In conclusion, if you're gonna make fake videos like this, every just every once in a while, sprinkle in something cool, dude. Sprinkle in a cool, <laughs> Like insane miracle happening. That's what this should, account should do. It should try to make it seem as real as possible. And then every once in a while, it's like, man comes out of coma that he's been in for three years and he knows how to juggle now. Do something like that. Anyways, it's time to talk about today's sponsor. Are you too busy with holiday plans to prep and cook meals? Maybe you've got better things to do. Maybe you've got a tiny little newborn baby and you're too busy just kind of holding him like this and looking at him. That's just an example I thought of off the top of my head. Well, if that applies to you, well then you're in luck because today's video is sponsored by Factor. With Factor, you get to skip the trips to the grocery store, the prepping, the cleanup, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you want from your meal. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals straight straight to your door that are ready to eat in two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And you can choose from over 35 weekly flavor-packed meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. I really like their Protein Plus options. They deliver 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Factor meals have made my life so much easier lately with the baby. Instead of stressing about like going somewhere to get lunch or cooking something, I can just take a Factor meal out of the fridge 
put it in the microwave for two minutes, and then it's ready to eat. And the majority of the time, it's tastier than something I could make myself, and it's less expensive than something I would get going out. So it's really a win-win. Also helpful, they put vegetables in their meals, which I, I am not good at doing myself, so I'm definitely eating healthier with Factor. So head on over to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use code 2danny50 to get 50% off your first box. That's factor75.com. Use my code 2danny50 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out Factor. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye